Hello, hi, how are you today? So I want to talk to you about a couple of things. So pay attention, please, and don't click off. And by the way, please like and subscribe my videos because this is how I get it out to more people who really need to know about this ascension. First thing I want to talk to you about is your light body. OK, a lot of people are kind of confusing things and, you know, kind of like rearranging what this really is. Let me simplify it for you in case this is new to you or in case you've been a real long timer hanging in here and persevering. This is about having a brand new light body. OK, a brand new light body to adventure with. And it has a lot more bells and whistles than the old version of the light body. There's a reason for it. That version of the old light body was only so much, like it was sufficient for the third and fourth dimensions. And that means for you as an individual, in order to gear you up here and have you amplified and really pull in that loving feeling to always feel the love and to always be able to be healed by it. Okay. You need an upgraded version of your light body. Now that's gradual. So point two is that it is a gradual, almost releasing and reintegrating and connecting, reconnecting and connecting to a much higher part of you. That's a proactive part. So some things happen very passively and some things don't. Now when this happens for people, or even if they hear the words, because honestly for me, the first time I heard the word twin flame, it was years ago by someone who I was actually dating and they really harbored some anger issues about that because I, something in them knew I wasn't. Something in me, it was like a bell rang and I didn't know anything, but yet I, I felt like that's an answer for something about who you are. It was all very vague and yet it was highly significant too. It was, it just felt important. And a few years would go by, but like many of us, once you start seeing it, it starts popping up as signposts along your way and like breadcrumbs, okay? Heard it first, didn't see it, didn't see it for a while, and it was not as prolific as it is now. Now, another thing that you may be aware of or maybe not, which I want to talk to you about because this is huge, Integration of your light body is preventative. So you know how we say if you have good health, you'll prevent certain chronic illnesses or debilitating conditions, right? Except you're seeing it happen. You're seeing celebrities with these chronic things and debilitating things. I could just name a few, Celine Dion, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, um, Bruce Willis, just to name like four or five people. And I've been talking about this literally for years. I've been writing it down and documenting it in my medical ascension journals that the ways that I'm guided to not only help people, but really to help you prevent things. So when I say it's preventative, here's how that works. If you're proactive about your light body, that starts sustaining you. That starts maintaining you. That starts deflecting things for you. That starts bringing up only the things that you might need as you need to address it. That also staves off some really dire stuff for you. That could, you know, it's like this. It's like going on the road and like you veer this way and like maybe you dodge that thing, but you're preventing something from happening. There's some other amazing things that I found to be true when I've been doing not only my light body work and mentoring of people and I'm an integrator, so I'm integrating this on their behalf. That is the large part of what happens during an energy session. But there's another cool thing that happens. Their medical maintenance takes on a whole different level, which simply be many times just become maintenance. And although it's not a hard and fast rule, the younger a person tends to be, the easier that they can stave off things and maintain things. So this seems to work the best for people generally between the ages of 25 
to about 55 with some exceptions. And again, depending on people's lifestyles, what runs in the family and what has happened to them throughout their life, because it's not easy to get rid of life events such as um, deaths or illness or childbirths or something like that. You can't deny that it happens. And yet, how do you get rid of the ill effects of it? Okay, <clears throat> there's a reason why I work with a majority of women, and that is because women are leading the charge on this ascension. And it's not intended for women to be, you know, feeling left out, um, feeling like, you know, all you're here to do is get ghosted or even worse, learn in the worst way possible about things like narcissism and abuse. Okay, we've already turned the corner in terms of learning that stuff. You don't need to relearn the lesson, which is also where the integration of your light body comes in because the next person you meet, according to your light body and your soul, you ought to be able to deflect those people. They shouldn't even be a blip on your radar. But that doesn't happen for people who keep making the mistake and making the mistake and making the mistake. Okay, it's easy to think that maybe that person is and you should give them a chance and, you know, maybe. But here's what happens. Inside, there's signals. And I teach people how to pay attention to the signals, develop their lover's intuition, which is far surpassing being a psychic. A lot of people would like this also to be about psychic, okay? Psychic is fine for the fourth dimension. In fact, in a lot of ways, that fourth dimension is rapidly collapsing. But what happens is you're opening up for more possibilities while you're eliminating other possibilities. In other words, you're eliminating that is it possible for you to be with the same old loser yet again? even if it's a different person, hell no, okay? So let me just answer that for you. From your soul, your soul doesn't want that for you. Your soul doesn't want you to be a side piece, a sugar mama, a sugar daddy, um, you know, a booty call, uh, get ghosted, any of those games that go on out there. There is more, okay? This morning, I heard um, the Queen song, Okay, and it's pretty much we're the champions of the world. You got awakened, not just for empowerment or your spiritual gifts. This goes beyond spiritual and it's deeper than physical. It is metaphysical, it is quantum, and yet it's very primal and it is down to earth and it's you navigating multidimensionally. Now, not everyone can do that, even when they kind of pretend that they do. Sometimes what they're seeing is the collapse of the old paradigm and it keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. It's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of people that are stragglers, right? They went to a concert. The people who got there in style in their limo, they left in their limo. They're off to their next thing. Other stragglers are just trying to recapture that emotion and that magic and, you know, as they leave, they can see the trash on the floor and, you know, or honestly, like when a bar empties out, do you ever like have to clean up after a bar scene or, you know, a party or something like that? And people are trying, they, they don't want to go home, but guess what? It's time to go home. It's literally time to get your small stuff together about you as an individual, focus on you, and start getting where you're going and what this is about. Ascension means exactly that. It means moving up. It's that simple. If you ascend a stairwell, you are going to the top of the stairs, okay? It is simple with the idea of it. How you would do it, it requires some things. It requires make a decision. Make a decision that you're going to do this. Make a decision that you're really here for love. Make a decision that you're here to be healthier. Make a decision that you want to make it easier through integration of your light body so that your light body is doing the harder work for you. Yes, it does. And it's you. 
It's not some separate, you know, random thing. People can't really pay attention to random things because they're not getting it. But I'm here to help you interpret it, here to help you make sense of it. So I do have a class coming up. My class is starting, um, you'll see the links below, March 26th. It's in three parts. There is a significance to this time frame that we're doing this in. This is about aligning your will with your higher will, with the higher self will, to where it feels logical and it feels warm and fuzzy and it feels proper and it feels like it's in your corner and actually on your team, on your side. Not that it's contradicting you, not that there's some weird force against you. I get so tired of people thinking like there's forces in the world. You know what that is? That's like something bobbing in the stagnant water up against like the bottom of something. They don't know how to go up and over and ascend, okay? So when you feel like you're getting resistance, you need to pause a moment and say, hey, hang on a minute, hang on. Uh, maybe the timing's not here, or maybe it's a not yet. It doesn't always mean never, and it certainly doesn't mean there's a negative force. There is a kind, benevolent force of love and of the universe and of self-empowerment to help you get where you need to go. Now, I'm part of the ground team. I'm part of the, you know, ground level Blu-ray team. I'm a Blu-ray and that is significant, but that because that means I'm a prototyper. I get put through my paces and I don't like being put through my paces. I don't like discomfort and pain. I find the most expedient way possible to help people and teach them. That's what I believe in. I don't believe that this has to be drawn out any more than it has to. I don't believe in using extra accoutrements if it's not necessary. I believe in being, you know, concise about it, um, learning how it can maintain you. Ask the questions. Oh my God, when we, the, honestly, it's been on fire because when we have our classes, a lot of people start sharing their experiences. It is a safe space. It's non-judgy. It is um, very diverse. There's all kinds of people in there. You can listen as much as you want. You can pose questions. I always leave time for live Q&A. And yes, I'm available. I'm not hiding behind, you know, some, some screen where you just hear my voice. I'm right there in it with you. I'm like that Sherpa that comes down a few thousand feet, grabs the next group, and gets you ascended. I'm not, you know, I'm not hiding here saying I'm you know, pink rainbow fluffy butt or some of the other names that why do people do that? They don't want to be found. They don't want to be who they are. They don't want, I, I don't get it, but I know people do it. That's their thing to do it. It's significant to them. But when it comes to real love, your soul knows who you are, no matter what you name yourself. Maybe you got named for two saints and you had to go to a school that you can't stand and you just hate that name. I get it. I understand not wanting to use your given name. Or maybe you identify with something else. But it's a whole different thing to let you know, I'm there. I'm available. I answer live. I'm right here in it with you. It doesn't matter how many times I've climbed the mountain <laughs> because I do it. Okay. Here's the thing. I want to ask you this. With all the things happening in the world, I'm going to pose a question here. All the things happening in the world with finances and with storms and all this, how do you rebuild trust again in love? Like, how do you really? How do you trust the bank? How do you trust getting on a vehicle? How do you trust the other people here that they're going to do the right thing, that they won't be negligent or idiots? I'm going to tell you how. By connecting with your higher self and integration of your light body, you avoid those things. You avoid it. Sometimes you skim it and you understand that you dodged a bullet or you didn't get that thing. Okay. I also help people with those phantom sensations and feelings. What is it really? What really happened to you? What are you, what does your body want to ditch now? 
What are you divesting yourself of and purging out, even if it's weird? Boy, I'm well versed in the weirdnesses and I'm also not going to make it a creepy occultish thing. No, whatever you endured in the past, we get to put that in the past. We get to remove it from you and we get to move you along and move you up and up level because we want the highest and best version of you. We want you to be an open vessel for real love and we want you to channel it down here for all of the rest of the unawakened people. They need it, okay? We don't need them to be asleep. We don't need them to be negligent. We don't need them to turn into, you know, messed up heads or addicts or worse, okay? People are struggling with their emotions because it's finally time to do something about this. Your brand new light body, that you came here for, that you might have forgotten, that you actually agreed to and requested, it's here. It's ready. It's been ready since 2011 for many people. And there will be more and more. So please join my class. Please join the webinar. It's in three parts. Everyone sees the result after starting the first part. And by the third part, you really see results. You will be the one who benefits from it with a small investment in yourself. And yes, that is necessary because uh, some people have asked me, hey, does insurance pay for this? Well, first of all, they barely even pay for a treatment like acupuncture. But I will say this, the things that people have been able to maintain themselves with and avoid paying for, this more than pays for itself. Also, this is tax deductible because it's part of your education. A webinar is a class and it can be a deductible thing for your education. If you're in the United States, there is a statute that talks about that. And if it is a part of that for you, you can consider that. So I hope to see you there. Please reach out with any questions you have at twinflamesmerge at gmail or check out my website and I hope you have a wonderful day. Please remember that a lot of changes are still continuing to happen. If you want the support of your brand new light body, then learn from me because I know it inside out. Not everything is long COVID. I'm going to keep saying that because a lot of people go like, oh my God, ever since and I've got, no, it can't, some of it is ascension, believe it or not, and some of it is the detox of ascension. So if you want to learn the expedient way of doing that so you don't feel that you're lingering and lingering with symptoms, then please join, okay? I hope to see you there. I will keep coming out with videos and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.